gosh, hey guys. I am just now waking up from a nap at 10.30. Uh, I had a huddle group with my friend this morning. Oh crap, I didn't even realize. I left my cereal bowl here. Um, yeah, I had some cereal and then I just went ahead and took a uh, snooze there and, oh hi baby. Um, <laughs> so I am getting ready to let her out uh, outside real quick and then I'm gonna leave to go to class at class at 11 and I got to get going actually so let's uh let's go take let's go take the dog out mocha you go go potty I you gotta try everything with this dog and she just she just does not listen yeah so um <laughs> it is 33 degrees this morning I left at about 7 30 and I was like it's it's cold but it's but it's not like it's miserable because usually in Ohio it can get really cold um but yeah, I left my friend's house after a huddle group, and I was like, why is there snow on the ground? It started snowing in a matter of, I guess, 45 minutes. It didn't look like it was, it wasn't supposed to snow today, and then it just snowed out of nowhere. So I'm like, yes, I will get your treat. So, um, yeah, I am going to get ready to get out of here. Um, gosh, I have to use the restroom first. I'm about to explode. I'm going to grab my bag from upstairs. I just noticed how awful the lighting is in this house. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so I am leaving now, but I'm kind of stupid. I don't know if you guys know this. I just realized how that came off. Um, <laughs> you may or may not think I'm stupid, but I like to wear shorts in the, hold on, I'm trying to get this enough. I like to wear shorts in the winter. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm just an idiot, I guess. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess I just like to, I got pneumonia during winter break this year and it definitely wasn't from a short cut from my shorts, uh, but it's. I was actually smart over winter break is the reason because I did I just had uh, I don't know I wore pants a lot like every other normal human being would, but I guess I just normally like to wear shorts. I don't know. Don't grill me for it, but um, yeah. So I'm leaving for class and it is a cold one, but it's warm in the car and. <laughs> I need to throw out my cups, good lord. I will see you guys um, when I get to class uh, and that'll be probably it for the morning and then, I don't know, I might do a car vlog um, on the way back to talk about things. Uh, something that's just been, I guess, bothering me or not really bothering me but uh, just poking at me, telling me to talk about it. So it's probably gonna be another, like the real talk vlog I did a while back. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys um, after class. Hey guys, um, like just throughout this week and over spring break last week, I don't know, I've just, I've really been convicted. And I think part of that is because I just feel like my time spent with, uh, I guess other people and the Lord especially, like I feel like all of that is, um, I don't know, shrinking in time wise just because of like, either how much I have going on or how much how much time I even want to put into that. Like, uh, it's all about whether my effort's in it or not. And I'm not putting as much effort into it anymore. And I really want to step up my game. Like, I want to be the person that, that I can be. And I know I can be. I just am not that right now. And I don't know. I just want to talk to you guys about it because I know you all are there. And um, I don't know. I have ears that listen. Um, to me so I really do appreciate that for you guys that stick around for this but um, yeah so basically like lately I've just been struggling with uh, just spending time with others um, like one-on-one -on -one especially I've noticed that I'm not hanging out with the people that I used to I'm just hanging out with myself which it's okay to hang out with yourself every now and then um, like sometimes it's really good to hang out by yourself and I like to say hang with yourself like I'm another person but really it's like hanging with yourself um, and just spending that time alone um, I guess refreshing your brain and uh, I don't know just relaxing a bit but really I've been doing that too much and with the time that I have I like yeah I get a lot done like classwork uh, I get a lot of that done but I'm not getting anything else done I'm I find myself sitting around uh, doing things that aren't productive or I don't know do you guys have that issue like are you are, are you finding yourselves like just feeling like could I be doing something better with my life than what I'm doing currently like is do you guys think that way um, I know I'm not the only one I just don't know out of you guys uh, what you guys I guess think about during those times just because uh, I don't know I just 
I, I just want to be something better than that. I'm not someone, I'm, I don't want to be the person that sits around and just lets life go by. Um, like, I don't want to do that. I want to, you know, make an impact on the world. Like, I guess on that note, as a Christ follower, I need to disciple others. And um, discipleship is what the Lord calls us to do. Um, and with that said, it's like, the Lord doesn't want us to worry about those small things, um, things that are minuscule to Him. Are they don't seem minuscule to us at times, but they really are. What am I gonna do about dinner tonight? Or, man, I have no plans tonight uh, with any friends. Like, well, how, what could I do? Like, I'm gonna be so bored. Like, I see people on Twitter all the time talking about how boring their life is or how much they wish they could do, but they don't because they're not doing anything about it. Like, it's like, guys, come on. Like, there's there's stuff out there you can do. It's just you gotta get up off your butt and get out there and go do it. Like, like I, I see times where I'm just sitting there, I'm like, Evan, like, what are you doing with your life? Why are you just sitting around? There's so much you can be doing outside of your house and just being productive. I could be going to God knows what. Like I find my time actually. This is what I. This is what I like to justify. I like to say, okay, Monday nights, um, I have to myself because I don't have anything to do. You know, I'm just gonna sit at home and do whatever. Like I'm not even taking that time to read the Bible like I should be doing, or spending time with my family downstairs. Like I don't do that. I just sit upstairs, whether that be my video games or uh, classwork or uh, Netflix, whatever it is, YouTube. Speaking of which, YouTube. Huh? But no, seriously, like, what are what are we what are we doing with our lives? Like, why are we just why are people complaining on Twitter and why are people putting it out there that they're not doing anything with your lives? If you're gonna put something out there like that, at least back it up with you're going to do something different to change that. There's a lot out there that you can be doing that others might need your help with, or you could be the help of somebody else. Like all of that is. Was that redundant? I, it doesn't matter. You get what I'm saying. Like, you guys, you got to get out there. Like, I got to tell myself I got to get out there. Like, we can't just sit there and just think the day is going to get better if we don't do anything. Like, you have to you have to literally go step by step by step. Put your feet out there and go do something. It, it, nothing's going to happen sitting on the couch plotting about your life. Like, nothing, that, that, that just won't happen. So, with that said, like, make a difference and just go out. Like, I'm getting out of class here and I'm walking, listening to Hillsong United and I'm just going to my car, I get in, and I hear the song, Here Now, Lord, I know you're here. Fix my eyes on the things that I can't see. I, I need to know what it is you want me to see, what it is you want me to do, and I don't know, it's just, I just feel like I am being lazy, and I, I'm really good at that. I think a lot of us are good at that. It's just, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's not gonna cut it. You have to do something different, like you have to. You can't just, you can't sit. I, I, I'm saying that so many times, but you just can't sit. Oh man, I don't know why I'm getting so heated about this. I just, I, I guess I'm just, I, I'm not impressed with myself right now. I've been pretty productive until these past two weeks. Like, I think it's been spring break. Spring break, I got into this, this setting of like, oh, I don't have any schoolwork to worry about. I don't have my youth group for Young Life. Like, I don't have to worry about that outside of spring break. Like, I'm I'm just gonna relax all week. And then I get into this week and I'm, I'm still in that vibe. I, I I think that's it. I think that's what it is. I found the root of it, but now I got to fix it. Now I got to dig myself up out of that and get back on top of the soil and start working towards what I'm trying to do in life. A school is going fine though. That's the thing. It's like, no matter how, my, what my vibe is throughout the day, it's like my school is fine, but school's not everything. Yeah, it's an important factor and like, especially college, cause that's setting you up for the rest of your life. But like, I need to worry about my time with the Lord. Guys, time with the Lord is so needed. Like it's it's refreshing, it's convicting. Like it, it just makes you feel like, wow, I'm I'm God put me here on, on earth to do something greater than what I'm doing right now. Like the Lord loves me no matter what, but he, he wants me to get off my butt and go do something. And I don't know, I just, can you guys please relate to this? Give a thumbs up if you get, like this video. If you ever feel like you're just, I want more of what I'm not, of what I'm, uh, wait a second. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Get, mm, oh my goodness. Get more of what you're not getting. Like, you're just not getting it. That, that, that song just really got me thinking, like, life, 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 and where I'm at now. Thank you for listening to that. Um, I'm going to calm down now, and um, 
take a drink real quick. How are you guys doing? Let, let's change the subject here. How are you doing? Is there anything that you're going through or anything that just doesn't seem like things are looking up to your expectations? Don't worry about others' expectations for you. Like, they're, when it comes to that, like, it's up to what you feel is best for yourself. Don't, don't worry about what others think. Like, yeah, it's important to think that, but it's like, does your opinion really matter in the end of it? Like, it's what the Lord thinks of you and what you think of yourself. You have to love yourself before others can love you, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So love yourself. Seriously, if you're not feeling loved right now or you're not feeling like you're even worth it, like trust me, you are put on this earth for a reason and you're not here just because you're just filling a gap on earth like I promise you are so worth it people out there love you I may not even know who some of you are but I love you guys I mean that wholeheartedly the world is so confusing at times like I could be sitting in this car looking out my out my window and just thinking for hours about what life really is and why I'm here and it's a big thing to think about you know what hold on a second the Lord is calling me to tell you about this this is a book about building discipleship and I've been reading it in my huddle group what I've learned so far I think this is this is outstanding. I, this is something that really stuck out to me. Let me find it. All right, right here in uh, chapter two, it says more effective and more compassionate. That's just like I underline that because, like, not just with discipleship, but with life, like, you, like with everyone, you need to be more. You just need to be more of that. There's so much hate out there, and so many things that people are saying to others that just like I'm 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 guilty of that. Like sometimes I will just say things to people just because I'm irritated or whatever. Like I'll lash out on them, and that's not who I am. I'm just irritability gets the best of all of us. But yeah, just be loving out there. Be loving. Be kind. That's my spiel. Um, I don't know that that part in the book is just or that chapter. I should say. I think a good factor for everything. Uh, that we put through life. Holy crap, what just dropped? I felt like the garage just went down a level. I'm going to head home now and I'm going to probably edit a bit of this vlog um, from earlier today and then this part of the vlog. Oh, oh wait, exciting news. Ten, well, not I don't know about for you guys, but for me, I'm going to leadership tonight and there is going to be, usually we, it's not the usual, tip, or I guess typical leadership that we usually have. We're watching the UD game tonight for the March Madness. We're going to have pizza and drinks and all that. I might record some of that just because, I don't know, there's a lot of people there and a lot of fun. And then after that, I'll probably hang out with, um, couple of my friends that I usually hang out with on Friday nights. I love you guys. Um, I will see you guys later tonight. Thank you for listening to this part of the vlog. It's probably the good meat and chunk of this vlog. Don't forget to leave that thumbs up. Um, I just want to see how much of you relate to this. So thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Well guys, um, I was almost home, but uh, got some lights, a lot of lights down here. It must be an accident. And this traffic is backed up. Oh, people, someone's on a stretcher. Yeah, no, dude, why did you, lady, why are you driving this close to the freaking accident? What on earth, people? Look at this, head on, col I don't understand how that even happened. Must have been the rain, slipped. Oh, that's awful. Oh, and guys, this is why you need to be thankful for your life. This, that's, that right there is a wake up call for all of you, even myself. Don't take your life for granted. Did you did you just start my camera? Yeah. I heard you leave for the enemy now. Hey guys. <laughs> um I just woke up, but I just wanted to say that I fell asleep last night. Um I didn't ed edit the vlog. I didn't get home till like one o'clock and then stayed up a bit and talked to some friends and then I passed out so I didn't have time to edit the end of the vlog so I'm gonna put this part in today's vlog yeah it's current day I'm sorry I was just really tired forgive me I love you guys so much thanks for watching leave a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one